Good evening, everyone. Royce Miller here, coming back at you with yet another Let's Try. Tonight on the docket, we have ba -da -ba -ba, the Doritos Papadilla Cool Ranch flavor. Let's take a look. Oh, Lord, that is interesting. Uh, this thing is absolutely covered in grease. Oh, Lord. Um, here, let's take a look under the hood first. So, this is a little different from their normal papadilla. Instead of, like, pizza toppings, it's more of a... It's more of a saucy quesadilla situation. Looks like they got tomatoes and onions. Now, there's three flavors. Uh, chicken, beef, and steak. I got steak flavor because uh, I'm not a big fan of chicken or beef. Or, well, or, or ground... Or the ground beef that pizza places use because it's like does anyone else think that ground beef at pizza places looks a little like cat turds anyway um let's give her a try uh mm. that is delicious mm. it reminds me of how I'd get a Philly cheesesteak at Pepper Jack's and just drown it in their spicy ranch. Which I mean, cool ranch flavor. Speaking of, though, this actually comes with a dipping sauce. Let's give it a try by herself first. It's cool ranch flavored, like, and not just ranch, cool ranch. You can definitely tell it's cool ranch flavored. Oh, let's. Hmm. Combine the two, see how it tastes. Mm. This thing is a mess, but it's delicious. The onions are cooked so they're not too bitter. It's saucy and cheesy and covered in cool ranch powder. It is missing a little zing, though. Maybe that's why I came with two banana peppers instead of one. Or pepperoncinos, sorry. I enjoy eating pepperoncinos from Papa John's. Um, <sighs> of the three pizza chains, I think Papa John's might be the best, or at least most high quality. Um, I would say it goes Papa John's for quality, then Pizza Hut, because they taste so good, and then at the bottom of the totem pole, you have Domino's. Not because they're bad, but just because I don't like them as much as I like. Pizza Hut and Pop Jones. And these steak chunks, they have just enough chew to them, like a nice low low quality cut of meat that you'd have on a Philly cheese. Oh, <clears throat> look at that! You can see the powder on the outside. This is what the Doritos Logos Taco wishes it was. Oh, shit. Oh, pardon my French. Ah! Oh! It's all over. It's all over, man. Game over, man. Game over. A well, Papadilla is just a good idea in general. It's a... A flatbread pizza that's been cut in half and folded to make the little quesadilla. Is there a bit of a flaw to the design? Yes. But it's still really good. Let's see if I can get some of this gooby back up here. Haha, <laughs> I got most of it. Oh, no, don't stain my shirt. Mm. 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 
but it's grill marks and onions. There's <laughs> just tomatoes and peppers and all this good stuff. And, Mm. Uh. I was delicious, although it made me an absolute mess. Uh. That is a better Philly cheesesteak than the Philly cheesesteak I got from the Pardon My Cheesesteak. <sighs> For some reason eating hot foods not like temp not like uh spicy but like temperature hot foods makes my nose run but yeah that was actually very good i'm surprised so what are my thoughts here um it's actually very good i like, I ate it so fast, but that's just because it was messy and I had to get it over with. Um, is it... If you live in an area that doesn't have a good cheesesteak place, I definitely recommend this. Because it is basically just a flatbread cheesesteak sandwich. And it's delicious. And you can get it with chicken or hamburger, even. Bah. Excuse me. I imagine the hamburger is kind of a queso situation, like queso beef. Or would that be queso con carne? You know, like the, uh, like a better version of that awful, uh, school nachos that you used to get at the cafeteria as a kid where it'd have, like, canned beef and canned cheese and it was, it looked like, it, it looked disgusting but it tasted okay. I, I actually didn't eat the meat out of that, I would just dip my corn chips in between the steak, or in between the, uh, ground beef bits and eat the ch cheesy chips. I actually ended up inadvertently starving myself a lot of school as a kid. That might have led to my um, weight problems was because I would starve myself at school and then overeat when I got home. Because, you know, I'd be walking around doing gym and stuff and then I'd get home and I'd be so hungry that I'd just run for whatever we had, which was usually, you know, cookies or candy or stuff like that. Um, that self-reflection aside... Uh, This is really good. Uh, I'm sorry this one's another short one. Good lord. Between this and the... Like, I, I managed to make the soda one last for 20 minutes somehow. But this, I just ate through it. I guess that's kind of proof of how good it is, at least. I'm not suffering through it like I was with the Moxie Elixir. Which, oh, what a foul-tasting drink. Anyway, that's going to be it for me tonight. I'm going to go wash up before it stains. Time to use some cold water and is it lemon juice or 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 like seltzer for stains. Anyway, y'all have a good night. Royce Miller, I'm outie.